Hey guys and welcome to another free plugin Friday. Today we are looking at analog session plugins and we are looking at the Tuba, which is a tube channel strip. Now this is based on the tube style channel strip. It does have uh, low frequency and high frequency boosts and cut, but it's very, very simple, just a stepped control. Uh, it's got a gain so you can get more heavy distortion. It's got pads, it's got a mic or line and it's got phase and then level, which is basically your amount of distortion. So it really kind of trying to emulate that kind of front end of a tube thing. I'm not sure it's based on the UAD or something else. Anyway, so we're gonna put on the drum bus, uh, then we'll put on some guitars, and then we'll put on some uh, strings. So let's have a listen to it on the drum bus. Just give us a good overall idea of what it sounds like. So turn it off, put it on, let's turn that level up. Uh, let's put it on high gain. You can hear it crunching up there. So there's that distortion quality. Now mic is obviously going to put into the mic input, so you're going to have an extra layer of distortion, I would, I would think, anyway. Crunching up nicely, nice and kind of thick there. You got a pad. So I think all of these, all they do is affect kind of the distortion levels. If you want to go really clean, of course, you can go. Still adding a little bit of weight there, still adding a little bit of volume too, adding something, uh, but a lot cleaner than, you know, with your mic on and your high on and your pad off and your gain up, which is getting distorted. So we're going to go low here. I think we'll go line, uh, line yep. Kind of like that. Obviously, you get your phase, you're not going to hear that here. Uh, low frequency and high frequency, minus six, or you can add plus six to get real fat bottom end. Uh, you can take off a bit of the highs, it makes it a lot darker. Add a little bit up, add a little bit. So say we go plus three and plus six, it's a typical scooped kind of thing. Bring the level down a bit, off, on. Fairly fat, fairly cool sounding. Um, next I just want to hear it on guitars. So we've got these two rhythm guitars here. Now let's see what we can do with them. You can hear the gain coming in a little bit there. Let's switch it to mic. Starting to get that tube distortion. That's actually really cool. High gain, totally obliterates it. Let's try it like this, but then put the pad on. That kind of works. Let's match the level a little bit. Subtle, especially on distorted guitars, but it's doing something cool. It's really kind of, it seems to be rolling off a little bit of the harshness there somewhere. But then adding um, those harmonics as well. Let's roll it back a little bit more. Let's take out some low end. Add a little bit of high end. A bit harsh there. A bit dark there. I think we'll keep it flat. Now I'm going to move it on across to this uh, lead guitar. Let's listen to that. Let's really kind of push it here and see what it does. Take the pad off. Oh, very different without the pad. So this is off. You can really hear it crunching up there. Uh, let's put it back to line. See the difference, that's line, this is mic. Difference in frequency response between the two. Line's got a lot more um, high end in the distortion. Mic's a little thicker, so we'll keep it on mic. I'm gonna roll it back a little bit. So let's put the pad on. Maybe low gain. Off. We're a bit subtle there. Um, I'm just going to put back to high gain. Try a line. 
Nah, keep it on, keep it on, Mike. So that's with the level down low. Yeah, it's starting to really do something there. So that's off. Back on. Maybe take out some low end. So bypassed. Let's put the low end back in. That's here. I want to go back to the other section. Uh, here. So he's changed those frequencies a fair bit. Maybe a little bit too much level. Let's listen to it with the other guitars. So we turn turn it off. Cool, so it is doing something interesting there. It might not work for you, but that's when you're pushing into distortion. I feel like with all these kind of preamp plugins, when you start putting on lots of things and you've got in different sources, uh, that's where you really kind of hear the difference, um, especially like across the drum kit or maybe on like multiple layered vocals, that kind of thing. I do want to do a bit of a shootout with channel strip plugins across a whole mix. It's a lot longer probably and a lot more invested than the usual free plug in Friday. It'll be kind of more of a special um, video. I really want to kind of do that though, but it may take me a while to kind of fit that all together. I'd kind of want it on a mix that's done. Like a lot of these are kind of working progress things, so you can really hear it on sources, but like a fully ready to mix thing, EQ is all done and everything, and then just compare like the different kind of emulations of preamps, different emulations of mixing consoles, that kind of thing, free and paid. Uh, so that would be a cool idea that I do want to go. Uh, next is strings. I just want to see what we can do a little bit with the strings. Be subtle, but see, test it too. So we really shred it. Could be cool for a lo-fi effect, mic mode. Game back on low. Cut a bit of lows, maybe add a little bit of highs. This is off. So let's listen to them all together. Um, we'll put them all together and I'm going to turn tuba on and off. Um, so we'll unsolo it. So yeah, so it's on the drums, it's on the guitars, and it's on the strings. Now there is no bass in this, so it's just the cello at the moment. Um, there will probably be bass in this mix. This is a song that I'm working on on Twitch. And if you want to watch me on Twitch, it's Jimmy James, Jimmy James Jams. Sometimes I can't even say it, it's just a bit of a tongue twister. But yeah, twitch.tv, Jimmy James Jam. Sometimes I do music stuff. Sometimes I just play games. It's a lot more chill, not as kind of techy as this channel is. Uh, so let's just listen to all the elements together, turning tuba on and off. See if we can really hear a difference. So off. Let's turn it back on. Now, turn it off again. And back on. I do feel like it helps meld things a little bit together, a little bit of 3D, and does kind of change that. Again, it's very taste specific as much as these saturation plugins are. Let's just go one more round of it off. Off. Still off here. And back on. So that is Tuba from Analog Obsession. Obsession, I can't speak a lot today. I'm tripping over words a little bit, but again, Analog 
Obsession Tuba. Go check it out along with all the other plugins. Check out Free Plugin Friday. There's a playlist if you want to look back at some of the other Free Plugin Friday, especially the analog obsession plugins, when I can say that word. Um, that way you can go see which ones you want to download and stuff. So go check them out. And as always, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>